guess what? Casey and I just got a call for another cutout, so let's go see what we're working with. First, we definitely want to make sure this smoker is lit this time because this one is inside. So this time we came a little bit more prepared. Got a smoker going, got a nice big hive. We came and checked this out already. Um, so we know, why is there <laughs> just random bees in here? Yeah, guess what that's what they're gonna do. Oh, okay, cool. Um, got some frames you throw them into. And Casey also spent the whole entire day building a bee vacuum, which he has right up there in that blue bucket. I will hurry up and cut to that video real fast. Before you start it, can you explain how you did this? Can you explain it? Uh, I followed a instructional guide by a dude on YouTube. <laughs> we'll link it for his credit because of his design. Okay, sounds good. Um, but so you said it's supposed to, it sucks up here and then it puts them in the bottom down here, which we have a lid right here. So all the bees will end up being in this bucket. Um, and the reason for this was to make sure it doesn't suck as hard. Was that what you said? Oh uh, yeah, you're creating a certain amount of pressure. You don't want it to like squish them when it sucks them through. Okay. Right, let's try this. This is an old drone hive. Basically, old drone hive. There's not. There's not a clean. In there. Plug that thing so they don't go through it, though. Yeah. <laughs> they look very angry, but they survived. Oh, some of them have their butts sticking out. Oh, you smell that pheromone? <laughs> They're not happy. So it kills maybe we can a work on the, of them. We can work on the pressure. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it did too bad. No. Well, I don't, they, might, they might have all just tried to sting because they were pissed off. Because a lot of them are just missing their stingers. Yeah. That is definitely a tunnel for um, their aggression pheromone. <laughs> it's like radiating out of there. <laughs> yeah, and if the hive's really, really big, then it's okay if we lose a little bit. Well, to be 100% fair, I'm going to add a, a, a pressure sensitive spot, right? Uh, like a pressure valve so that way this doesn't stay so like pressurized okay but it's, it's for it's only pretty, 60 bucks that's pretty good well yeah um i basically bought the top of it and everything else basically was just stuff laying around yeah so and i think you can make them cheaper to be fair because this is there's actual um five gallon bucket shop back tops for them that are only like 25 30 bucks oh okay i just they didn't have any and i wanted one that i could turn back into a shop back if i needed to yeah okay you can farther over or you can, like, 
safe right here. If you look out that window, you can see the hole. It looks like that end cavity, but like I said, you can see there in the corner, and I can't see the nest. You seem like that whole cavity probably be full. And they're coming out here? Yeah, they're coming out in the corner. Right, I'm gonna still cut this small hole right here. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever you gotta do. <laughs> I couldn't find it. Did you move it? It was in the in the truck in the front. Tomorrow you're spoon. Okay, so that's they're not there. I'm gonna try the same thing right here. We found them. <laughs> They're there. What's gonna happen when you pull it out? Oh, I can feel the. I already feel the wax. They might come out. I can already feel the wax. Oh, yep. Yeah. Shit, there, 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 there. We found them. Um, Smoker. Smoker. Okay. Yep, no, we found them. No, uh. Are they gonna sting you? Oh, yeah, I see them coming over. Right. Do I cut into their honey? Um. We're gonna want the buckets too. Oh, okay. Uh, they actually start to gorge themselves on the honey. They won't. They won't sting. That's what would have melted all in your walls if you had tried to kill them, and it would have destroyed your home. Oh, that's crazy as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wow, those are perfectly in line comb though. <laughs> That's impressive. Um, we probably take the smoker <laughs> outside before we all die. <laughs> we might actually. You're not gonna need it again. Uh, we can. We'll I can have crack to... a window. Oops. Maybe. Maybe a cardboard box there. Just there's a window there. Is this open? Oh, yeah. cool. Okay. The one that hits you in the face is a lot bigger than the rest of them. What's, are they different sizes or? Uh, drone. One is a, one is a male bee, which doesn't have a stinger. And then one is a female bee, which they do all the work. Yeah, that was a drone. this comb off when I do this. Damn, I'm all your stones up. I'm so curious, this is cool. Oh, stuff. that is awesome. So I didn't mean to take it off, but... Yeah, you're not, you're not using the fungus, it's like really What? You wanna look at this real quick? This is cool as fuck. Uh, no, I'm looking. I don't care. Don't what is it? A spatula? I don't know, bring it to me. What? Now, why don't you have to keep on smoking them? You only smoked a little bit of them. Um. The, uh, once they go into gorging, they, it takes them a minute to get the, uh, like, you smoke them and then they gorge themselves on the honey, and then they'll either have to give the honey back into the cell, or 
they can't really mess with you. They get like docile when there's no honey for them or when they're all filled with honey. I got a bigger one here too, you want it? This is the second cutout we've ever done and after the last one we realized that it would have made it a lot easier if we would have had a bee vacuum. So Casey spent the entire day trying to figure out how to put this vacuum together and seriously we're never going to do a cutout without it ever again because it made everything so much quicker and so much cleaner. We didn't have bees flying all over us, we didn't have bees climbing on us and stinging us a million times. It made the job so much more enjoyable. Actually, it's going to be a very nice hive to remove. It looks like it'll, it's between two studs and it, they stayed in that stud area. I have a question though. Mm. There's my pants. <laughs> you didn't know where those went. Do you want, um, you want to take that bucket or those buckets real quick? Dump them? Yeah. See if, like, is there a place she can rinse those off real quick? Like, oh yeah, that'll work. The couple that owns this house had been working on this house for the last year and they ran into a little bit of trouble when they were trying to get their roof fixed and their roofer said, hey, you got bees, we can't do anything until they're gone. So luckily they called us up to see if we can get them removed and we just jumped on it right away because honestly, we love doing these cutouts. We always walk away feeling so excited and it's so cool seeing the different ways that bees are building their hives. Can you smell? Get that, not you. <laughs> you um, so you'll start to smell rotten bananas. Okay. And when you start to smell that, that's their way of saying we're very, very angry with you. However, these guys are being super chill. So this hive was built between two studs and it looked like they only stayed as big as the cavity they were in. They didn't really have any room to expand and in fact they expanded as far as they could in this space that honestly they're probably going to start preparing a swarm at some point. The owner did say that he saw a huge, huge swarm leave it about a month ago so I'm sure they've been sending them out repetitively. This wasn't the biggest hive I've ever seen but it was super easy to manage and take down and it honestly looks really cool the way that they built all the comb just symmetrically right down perfectly in line. They definitely are honey collectors though because there was so much honey in this hive. Literally all of the top and all of the bottom was just full of capped honey. So they've been pretty busy. I see, I see what they did. What? What's that? They're only attached up here. Okay. Um... And then they let the rest of it hang. So that That's way. how the other ones in the um, that barn was. When they make them really long like that. That's actually nice though. Oh, yeah. Easier for us to take it We're giving them some honey, right? Uh, I tried. Oh, you tried? Yeah. We might have to give them... It might be a jar thing. We might have to jar and then drop stuff back off. I tried okay. to give them a nice chunk. Because every bit of the honey in here is capped. Oh, of course it is. Yeah. Kind of wish we had a picture of how big the whole thing was. That's okay. Ooh, it's a nice, beautiful bird. Her? Um, no, I do not see her. Okay. Back in. Nice. Thank you. Good job on that. <laughs> Thank you. I got it. I think I've got it pretty. All right, nice. All right, I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna flip it over and see if she's on the opposite side. Okay. I also have a queen cage in my pocket just in case. Perfect. See, we're coming together and getting better at this. All right. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. uh oh. It gets slippery. Oops. Oh, I need that In all honesty, finding the queen is one of the hardest things to do in a cutout. We got lucky on the last one that we did when we found both queens, but 
that's not always the case when you do do a cutout. So if you have any tips of how to find the queen, please send them our way because we would definitely use them. We're going to do this in two separate chunks this time. I'm not going to take the honey with it. Okay. Leave them the honey? Yeah. No. no oh, no. okay. No, I'm going to take... Okay, there's a bee in my shirt. Where? Somewhere in my shoulder. In your shoulder? Got it. Hold on. There one. Yep. You're welcome. Oof. I smell the bananas. I do not see a queen. You can suck her up. Oh yeah, you can really smell the bananas. <laughs> It actually kind of smells good. We make a nice uh, cologne. <laughs> Woo. Let's talk about drippy. Where does it go? Right here, right here. Okay, cool. This is all fucking gorgeous. That was my fault. I switched it. Looks like we got all the brood then. Yeah. No, they were they kept to the size of their chamber. That's here, nice. Here, the back. At this point, I was starting to get a little bit nervous because we had already taken down all of the brood and we still hadn't found the queen yet. Now last time we ended up finding the queen on the wall of the hive after we took the whole entire thing down. So I was hoping and praying that this was going to be the case this time as well. Because usually the queens like to run when you start breaking into their hive. But again, that's not always the case. So are we going to find the queen? Oh. Well, I break under that. Yeah, it's fine. Apparently this is what happens when you forget um, to blow dry or blow insulate everything. Oh really? Yeah, he did everything but this chamber he forgot. Oh, that's good yeah. to know. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, there's their hole. Yep, that's how they got in. I've seen houses that they didn't insulate either. Wow, that's, in that's interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, we actually, okay, we have brood. Random and actual. That's all cat honey. We can actually. That's awesome. Yeah, I figured it out. Um, yeah. You want to suck everything out of that? Yeah. Mm, I'm do this in smaller chunks. Okay. And be vacuum. So when this bottom bucket of the bee vacuum starts to get a little bit too full, it starts to not be able to suck as much as it normally would. So we had to take a couple trips to dump out all of the bees so that we could get them all. Idea. We don't know. Uh, but we also might have some bad news. Uh, um, these guys are going to clean themselves for a while. Um, so, they might not. so, as we were removing the comb, we were starting to notice that there were a lot of bees coming from the other wall in that corner. So we were afraid that there might be another part of the hive or another entirely new hive on the other side of the wall. So Casey cut out another square just to see. And luckily there was another hive over there. Hey, hey, queen, queen right there. Right there, queen. Um, is that a cage right here? Okay. 
catch her. Got her? Yes, I do. Oh, yes. Yay, I got the queen. <laughs> that was a good, wow. She was just good hanging spot. off right there. It's you, you for this one. Good job, love. <laughs> That's 100% of the problem done right there. Yep. Now they can't, they can't rebuild. They need a queen in order to, so now they definitely can't rebuild. Now it's just... Cleaning up the mess. <laughs> One thing I can guarantee you guys, man, this is a whole lot better than watching fucking on TV. <laughs> right? <Thank you. laughs> Live action here. That... <laughs> <laughs> Makes a difference when you come prepared. <laughs> yeah. Last time I didn't even know what to be prepared for though. Oh, that's true. that's true. Um, and he gave us some jars too. Oh, thank you. I told him we'd bring by a, a jar of honey oh, for him. Oh, for sure, yeah. You well, know, they don't have to be a big jar like that, but uh, oh, no. I don't know what you guys put them in, but. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah, we'll definitely bring them by. Can I borrow this that top here, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You yeah, know, that went great. Way better the last time, and it only took us an hour and what, 20 minutes? Yeah. So around an hour since we stayed for a little bit. Yeah, oh yeah. It's pretty good. Got birthday cake. Yeah, I got birthday cake. <laughs> like a cutout and a birthday. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, the back door's still open. <laughs> you got the lighter? Yep. Yeah. Hmm. That was fun. <laughs> I only got stung twice. I know, and you didn't wear a suit the whole time. Not even a So I guess you can do a cutout with us, you know. I guess you can. <laughs> the chunks we got out. Ooh, that looks nice and pretty. We took a ball out in big solid chunks. Um, that was her brood right there. And we obviously have buckets with all the honey in it, but I am gonna give her a brood back and we'll see if we can make that work. So at least she gets some bees. Yeah. Makes the hive smell like hers, I think. So I guess so I'm just gonna measure here. I'm gonna give her the top half. Oopsie. Mm. Uh, we have more rubber bands. <laughs> now you can't see your cut mark. No, I can't. I just, uh, I was kind of looking for cell alignment, making sure the cells were going to face up when I stick them in here. Okay. Because it's terrible on the bees the other way. Why? What happens? Um, they have to, I don't think they can form them back up. They might be able to. I mean, I'm still sort of new to the cutout scene, but, yeah. um, everything I've kind of researched, um, the bees really appreciate it if you, uh, comb it upwards. Like, so that way the, like, there's a natural angle on the comb. And if you, I think if they try to store honey in it, it would obviously leak out because it's going downwards. Oh yeah, definitely. No, I think about it, I've always noticed they do have a slight um, tilt up to kind of like cup them up.
Honestly, if they do it just like they did the other one, then um, they're probably just gonna make it part of the frame. Because the other one they connected. Yeah, they'll uh, they'll fix everything. I think. I just wanna. She was like, a, she was a decent little five frame cutout. Oh yeah, she was. Um, so then we're gonna use this right here as our measurement. So I'm editing this one week after this cutout happened and since then they have completely reattached all this comb to the frame. They've built it out so it looks nice and pretty. So good news is it worked. Their own. Some pollen. Some pollen. That looks like it should all fit in there. Oh yeah, for sure. That'll be a nice little frame for them. And they'll definitely reconnect all of that. Super thick rubber bands. I feel like that's just kind of. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to build a uh, wax smelter. <laughs> we have so much wax now. We have totes and totes and totes of it. Just because that last cutout was huge. Yeah, it was. Uh, I'm gonna build us a solar melter. It's gonna be super, super, super fancy. <laughs> it's gonna be epic. <laughs> epic. <laughs> I like that word choice. Yeah. Yeah. I've built one before and I like them, but the thing is, uh, I learned from another YouTuber on there, like back in the day, that running it through a uh, paper towel, like through a solar wax melter, but just a little, like through a paper towel, cleans it up and turns it to a really nice color. Mm. And it only will turn a certain color, like wax looks the best ran through a solar, solar Look at that. That's a stand up. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> um, 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 but wax ran through a solar wax melter with the. You get your best color out of it, I believe. Oh. Yeah, doesn't it bleach it? I think. Yeah, it kind of. It gives it. It gives the color only the sun can give it. Oh. And right now they're trying to figure out what's going on. They're trying to clean themselves up, probably. They clean herself up pretty fast. Thank you, love. Yep. I want to give him some resources too. They'll like this. Yeah. Crazy how balanced the comb is. <laughs> right. It's probably because it's so thick. <laughs> 